Good afternoon, Griswold School students, staff, and families. We have come to the end of an extraordinary year of teaching and learning at Griswold School. It has been anything but typical, and through this experience, we've all learned a lot and found new ways to grow. I like to refer to this year as our found year. We found out how flexible we can be with our approach to school. We found new ways to communicate with classmates and family through Zoom, Seesaw, and Google Classroom. We found old ways to solve new problems and new ways to solve old problems. We found new ways to make the world a better place through compassion, kindness, and understanding. I'm proud of every member of our community and I look forward to the day when we can break cohorts and get everyone together in the cafeteria and sing the Griswold School song. Today we're going to take some time to recognize a few individual and group accomplishments in the areas of academics, citizenship, art, PE, and our D.A.R.E. program. We will also announce our Building Teacher of the Year. And I have the honor of handing out the first recognition today, the CAPS Superintendents Award. Berlin participates in the CAPS Superintendents Award recognition program each year. Grade 5 students from around the state are selected as representatives from each school. We select one boy and one girl for service to Griswold School, academic prowess, and serving as a role model in all settings. This year, it's our honor to recognize Grace Miller and Maxwell Davidson. Good afternoon, grades three, four, and five. I would like to start off by saying how proud Mrs. Cavallari and I are of you. We appreciate your patience and cooperation as we modified your physical education classes this year. It was challenging, but we made it. We have three fitness certificates that we will be giving out today. The first students that I would like to recognize are our fourth grade students who met the standard on all four fitness tests for the State of Connecticut Physical Fitness Assessment. This assessment included the pacer, curl-ups, push-ups, and the sit and reach flexibility test. The following students will be, uh, will be receiving a certificate of achievement for their success on these tests. Mrs. Tardis class, Derek Ayat, McKaylin Bissett. Nicholas Chikowitz, Andrew Gomez, Cody McCarthy, Kylie Anderson, Nadia Broshu, Mia Coletti, Maya Crandall, Kelly Szymanski, Juliana Titi, Mrs. Larson's class, Nolan Bialek, Nathan Koops, Parker Rossi, Jacob Schweitzer, Amelia Ademkowitz, Ariella Darina, Ava Dang, Lila Duval. Madison Fusco, Allison Keene, Veronica Kozak, Avery Labano, Caroline Martin, Elia Morris. Mrs. Vieira's class, Jacob Albright, Gavin DeAngelis, Sydney McAdam, Nicholas Narvaez, Adeline Barubi, Naomi Casillas, Elena Johnson, Audrey Jerzyk, Natalie Jerzyk, Jocelyn Royce, Julia Uzinski. And Mr. Seacamp's class, Jackson Correo, Evan Noakes, Jake Roberge, Ariana Eichely, Lucy Hall, Melanie Liu, Mika Sassenti, Alexandra Wynarski, Sophia Witkowski, and Kaylin Zangieri. Congratulations to all of you. Next, we would like to recognize our grade five students who met the standard on all four tests from the President's Fitness Challenge. The following students will, will be receiving a, a Certificate of Achievement. The awardees are, for Ms. Wozlian's class, Tyler Bennett, Nathan Carpenteri, Callie Jenning, Toby Junker, Lena Marion, Nathaniel Rojinski, Kathy Suma, Isabella Zoltabuk. Mrs. Wade's class, Preston Barnes, Gavin Malik, and Anthony Petroteo. From Miss Spinella's class, Logan Karuba, Daniel Kokoza, Henry Cookson, Sebastian Karwowski, Juliana Masirio, Lena Pinchera, Noah Rudolph, Zachary Sidowski, and Caden Zampino. From Mrs. Bo Miss Bodette's class, Ariana Adamsevich, Natalie Avino, Rose Avino, Nico Fisher, Frankie Fusco, Charlotte Melnick, Tommy Muscaides, Joshua Porzillo, and Ben Wazurek. 
congratulations to all of you. Our final award is the Outstanding Achievement in Physical Fitness Award. This award is given to one boy and one girl in fifth grade. The criteria for this award is determined by ranking the fifth graders who passed all four tests to arrive with the winners. These students will have their names engraved on a plaque in the East Hallway. Mrs. Cavallari will announce this year's winners. The 2021 Outstanding Achievement in Physical Fitness Award winners are Brandon Sadowski and Maris Carlin. Congratulations to all of today's award winners and have a safe and active summer. Hi, I'm Miss Wilson and I'll be presenting awards for the Griswold Band students. All students who have participated in band this year will be receiving an award certificate. I'm also here to present awards for outstanding band students. The students receiving this award have gone above and beyond in a very challenging year to continue to persevere and excel in learning to play an instrument. These outstanding students have worked hard to earn many band karate belts, are very responsible, and have a positive, helpful attitude. In fourth grade, the Outstanding Band Student Awards go to Ava Dang, Veronica Kozak, Elia Morris, McKaylin Bissett, Joseph Mencarini, Callie Samansky, Sydney McAdam, Kian Patel. In fifth grade, the Outstanding Band Student Awards go to Savannah Atkinson, Maxwell Davidson, Callie Jenning, Toby Junker, Kathy Suma, Natalie Avino, Rose Avino, Grace Miller, and Kayla Cordeville. Thank you to all the band students this year for your hard work and perseverance. Congratulations to all of the award winners, and I hope that you all have a very musical summer. Hello everyone, I am pleased to award two students from each grade level for excellence in art by demonstrating passion, creativity, and craftsmanship within their work. These students' artwork has also been featured in this year's District Virtual Art Show. For kindergarten, Charlotte Fowler and Amelia Markowski. Grade one, Matthew Grokel and Kate Sweats. Grade two, Lena Liss and Madison Meyer. Grade three, JT Lindgren and Jack Lawrence. Grade four, Ariella De Arena and Alexandra Wynerski, and grade five, Grace Miller and Toby Junker. Amelia has also been awarded Principal's Choice for her painting Starry Night. Her artwork will be displayed at Griswold throughout next school year. Congratulations to everyone. Hi, I'm Mrs. Primo, and I'm pleased to announce the recipients from E8 Grade 3 Citizenship Award, Kaylee Wysorek, Emma Wysorek, and Andy Grant. Kaylee's positive attitude and enthusiasm for learning are two reasons that make her a great friend and role model for her peers. She has a kind heart and is willing to help others at a drop of a hat. Thank you for being you and sharing yourself with the rest of us, Kaylee. Emma is kind, compassionate, and shows empathy towards others. She is willing to help her peers and adults without hesitation. Her sense of humor is a welcome addition to the class. Be proud of the person you are, Emma. Andy is always up for a challenge and seeks out opportunities to continue to grow. She is always available to help with whatever is needed. Her creativity and big heart are a wonderful addition to the class. Thank you for being the best you. You can be Andy. Hi, this is Mrs. Kluge. I'd like to say congratulations to Addison Aikier and Brooke Garcia for receiving the Citizenship Award for third grade from room E9. Addison always enters the room with a positive attitude and is ready for the school day. She's kind, compassionate, and shows empathy towards others. Addison will always help a classmate without hesitation. Throughout each day, she gives 150% effort and uses class time wisely. She's honest and trustworthy. I thoroughly enjoy teaching Addison this year. Congratulations, Addison. Brooke has a positive connection with the classroom community. She's polite, well-mannered, and treats others the way she'd like to be treated. She respects school property and the belongings of others. Brooke's effort towards school work is admirable. She sees the challenge as an opportunity for growth. Congratulations, Brooke. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cordulo. I'd like to congratulate our Citizenship Award winners for CW5, Harper Gadomsky and Andrew Alger. Harper is a fantastic role model for our class. She always has a smile on her face and is ready to learn. She always takes her time to do her best work. She perseveres through difficult tasks and is a kind friend and very helpful. She makes good choices throughout the day and never gives up. Harper, thank you for being a responsible and respectful student. 
Andrew is also a wonderful role model for our class. He is extremely motivated to work hard through challenging tasks. He, he always has a positive attitude and uses his manners. He's kind to everyone and loves to help others. And he cares about his schoolwork by never giving up. Andrew, thank you for being a responsible and respectful student. Congratulations to you both. Keep shining. Hi, I'm Miss Gemmel, and I want to congratulate the Citizenship Award winners from CE5, Callie Baker and Isaac Davidson. Callie's kind and friendly attitude makes her a role model to all our students at our class. She enters our class every morning with a smile, and she always gives her best effort. Her positive attitude has made our class from a better place this year. Isaac is a kind and respectful student. He's honest, responsible, and is always eager to participate during our class discussions. Isaac is hardworking, and he is always up for a challenge. Congratulations, Kelly and Isaac. I'm so proud of you both. Congratulations to our Citizenship Award winners, Allie Salvadori and Natalie Jerzyk. Allie is a hardworking fourth grade student who is always giving her best effort in everything that she does. She is a kind person. She is kind to her peers and adults alike and is always willing to help anyone in any way that she can. She is a thoughtful, caring, and compassionate member of our classroom community. And Natalie is a role model student in our classroom. She is responsible, honest, and hardworking. Natalie works hard every day and takes her education very seriously. She goes out of her way to help others and is a thoughtful friend. Congratulations, Allie and Natalie. Keep making things better at Griswold School. Hey you guys, welcome to the Citizenship Awards. It's Mr. C. Camp, you know me. And uh, I'm just here to give the Citizenship Awards to two people from my classroom, Melina Liu and also Daniel Zawadzki. And you guys do a great job every day making Griswold School a better place to go to school. Daniel, all of your technology skills have been a blessing to me. They make my job much easier and they've helped everybody else in the classroom. And Melina, you've helped everybody in the classroom. You've been a great friend to them and uh, you're even always on the lookout how to make our school a more beautiful place and volunteer to pick up trash when we're in the courtyard and just always thinking about ways to make our school better. So thank you to both of you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Larson. I'm a grade four teacher and I am here to announce my citizenship awards for two of my students this year. Uh, the first being Amelia Adamkiewicz. Amelia, I am giving you this award this year for your immense amount of graciousness and gratitude. You come in every single day with a smile on your face. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Your kindness is amazing. With a new student in our room this year, you really came to his side to help him feel part of our family, and I can't thank you enough for that. Um, you are a wonderful student. You work so hard, and your achievements are very, very obvious every single day, so thank you. My second student I am awarding this to this year is Miss Ava Dang. Um, Ava, again, you are an incredibly focused student. You are very diligent and passionate about your work. You come to school again every single day with incredible enthusiasm. You are a natural born leader without being bossy. You have an incredible sense of humor um, and you just make every day in the classroom that much better. So congratulations to both of you. You've done an excellent job this year. I am so proud of your accomplishments and good luck in next year. Congratulations to our Citizenship Award winners, Kylie Anderson and Derek Ayotte. Kylie is respectful and makes a sincere effort to work hard in all areas. She shows empathy and is sensitive to the thoughts, feelings, and beliefs of other others. Kylie brought such great personality to the classroom that inspired others and made our 183 days fun. Never stop asking questions, keep your nose in a good book, and as you always prove to be, stay kind. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wazaline, and I'd like to congratulate fifth graders Callie Jenning and Lena Marion on earning a citizenship award for our class. Callie is a responsible student who cooperates with everyone in our class. She is honest, trustworthy, and always takes care of our classroom and the learning. Callie strives to go above and beyond in all that she does. Lena shows persistence in the face of every challenge. She takes risks and tries to better herself each day. Lena shows compassion for others and always does the right thing to show true responsibility. Congratulations, Callie and Lena. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wade, and I'm pleased to announce this year's winner of the fifth grade citizenship awards to Lila Fowler and Gavin Malik. Lila is a kind, compassionate, and respectful citizen. She's a great role model who demonstrates empathy in all she does. She works hard on her schoolwork and is helpful in our classroom community. Keep up the good work, Lila. 
Gavin is a great role model for his peers as well. He rises to academic challenges and the effort he puts into his schoolwork is evident every day. He is a responsible, thoughtful, and caring citizen in our classroom community. Keep up the great work, Gavin. Congratulations to both of you. Well deserved. From Ms. Spinella's class, congratulations to our Citizenship Award winners, Lena Pinchera and Logan Karuba. Lena is a role model for all of her peers. She is a hard worker and is ready to meet any challenge with persistence and a positive attitude. She puts others before herself and is always willing to help a classmate or teacher. Her kind heart extends beyond the students at Griswold School and into the animal community where she has a deep love for all animals in need. Logan is a kind, thoughtful, and responsible student. He always has a smile on his face and his positivity is contagious. Logan is always expressing his gratitude and showing respect for his peers and teachers. I commend his strong work ethic and eagerness to learn and be the best student he can be. Congratulations to Lena and Logan. Hi, I'm Ms. Fodette and I'm pleased to announce the Citizenship Award winners for my class. This year's winners are Natalie and Rosavino. Natalie is kind, helpful, generous, and a role model to her peers. She is always giving her best effort, helping her classmates, and consistently participating in class. She isn't afraid to share her mistakes with the class to help their learning. I can count on Natalie to do the right thing at all times. Rose has such a big heart, is kind, and works well with all of her classmates. She is respectful and trustworthy, and I can always count on her to be a role model. She takes pride in her work and always perseveres. She encourages her classmates to reach their full potential as well. Congratulations to our citizenship winners. Hi, I'm Officer Brandon Legue, or Officer Brandon as my friends here at Griswold know me. Over the last couple of months, I've had the pleasure of teaching your students uh, D.A.R.E. This has been my eighth year teaching D.A.R.E. here in our schools. Uh, D.A.R.E. every year in my fifth grade students, they keep me on my toes and this year was no exception. I was very impressed with their ability to deal with the masks, the COVID restrictions, and their ability to adapt to the different classroom uh, setting that we were uh, stuck with this year. I'd also like to thank my teachers, Ms. Wasleyan, Ms. Wade, Ms. Spinella, and Ms. Baudet for being flexible, not, with the student, not only with the students, but with me as well in my crazy schedule. So thank you so much to them. Our D.A.R.E. program is designed to teach our students and help them learn and build on their good decision making. We tackle subjects such as stress, peer pressure, bullying, alcohol, tobacco, and confident communication. At the end of each of our years, our D.A.R.E. students uh, write an essay about what they learned through our D.A.R.E. program. These essays are graded not only by the teacher, but as my, uh, from myself as well. This is kind of like their final project in graduation from the D.A.R.E. program. Through all those, uh, from each of the classes, we have one winner from each class, and then we have an overall first and second prize winner. They get a nice little prize from Officer Brandon at the end of the year. So the winners from each class, in Ms. Baudette's class, I had Rose Avino. In Ms. Spinella's class, I had Maris Calvin. The winner from Ms. Wade's class was Galvin Merrick, Malik. And for Ms. Wasleyan's class was Sophia Sullivan. Our second place winner overall from fifth grade here in Griswold was Gavin Malik. And our overall winner who is going to be reading their essay is Sophia Sullivan. Congratulations. I really enjoyed reading all of the essays this year. Everyone did a great job, and I really appreciate all the effort. Thank you so much for another great year of D.A.R.E. In D.A.R.E., we learn how to make good decisions in tough situations. We are going to be faced with these tough decisions for the rest of our lives. For example, we've read passages about situations such as your friends are talking about bringing wine coolers to, from home to your soccer game. They asked if you wanted them to bring you one, too. We use the D.A.R.E. decision-making model to think about the positive and negative consequences to assess the situation. What would you do? Would you tell your coach, tell an adult, or would you just go with it and not tell anybody about what happened with your friends? I learned that drinking alcohol, smoking, and using tobacco can be dangerous. There are 75,000 deaths each year in the United States related to alcohol. Our D.A.R.E. book says that alcohol slows down the brain and body, which can cause health issues such as loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, loss of self-control, and slow reflexes. I also learned that in the United States, it is illegal to sell tobacco products to anyone under the age of 21. It is interesting that there are more than 200 known harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke. I read about how cigarettes contain nicotine, which makes you addicted to them. 
I have used the dare decision making model. For example, I got into an argument with my friend down the street. We made each other feel bad, and when I got home, I thought about it. I decided to text her and apologize for being mean. She apologized too. We felt so much better after we texted. It could have been worse, and we could have stayed mad at each other, and the problem could have gotten bigger, or we might have ended the friendship. I plan to use the dare decision-making model when I'm in a bad situation, like when my friend and I got into an argument. I try to use the decision-making model and think about and make a good choice. If I didn't, I may have lost a friend. I want to be able to stop and think about situations. I want to be safe and responsible and not use drugs or drink alcohol under the age of 21. I don't want to hurt myself or others. I promise and flesh to always try to keep myself and others safe from hurting themselves. I promise to tell a trustworthy adult when I'm in a tough situation. I want to be a responsible and good citizen that others can count on. I pledge to stand up for someone that may be getting bullied. I'm thankful that the D.A.R.E. officer came into our classroom and taught us these things. Thank you, Officer Brandon. I think D.A.R.E. means to be being safe, responsible, and how to solve problems on your own. Some things D.A.R.E. taught me are resistance strategies, how to manage stress, and how to avoid dangerous situations. These are prime topics D.A.R.E. teaches kids my age. I learned how to manage stress in D.A.R.E. and I think this is one of the most important things you'll learn in D.A.R.E. because it could help me make more friends. One way I can manage stress is take a few deep breaths. This could help my body calm down. Another way is to talk to somebody about what's happening in my life. This will help me get over stress. My final way is I could walk away and be by myself. This could help me calm down and be back to normal. Another prime topic I learned about in D.A.R.E. are resistance strategies. One resistance strategy is to avoid the situation. This means to not go near places where drug or tobacco use is expected. Another way is to hang out with people who do not use drugs or tobacco. This could uh, help you be safe and not get peer pressured to do the wrong thing. Um, my final way is easily walking away from the situation. This could help you because you won't get caught doing the wrong thing. It could also be the easiest thing to do in a bad situation. Another important lesson I learned in D.A.R.E. is to avoid dangerous situations. I believe this is one of the most important lessons you'll learn in D.A.R.E. because it could help you live better lives. For example, if people do not hang around people who do drugs, tobacco, or smoke, it will not set a bad example for people who are not around them. It could also help prevent negative peer pressure because if people avoid the situation as a whole, they will not get the idea into their head to smoke, do uh, tobacco, or drugs. Finally, people learn to be a better person because if nobody is around people who smoke, then the people will not smoke because they want to be around people again. This is why I think D.A.R.E. is important for kids like me because it teaches them how to manage stress, learn resistance strategies, and how to avoid dangerous situations. These are just a few reasons why D.A.R.E. is important for a growth mindset of children my age. Hi, my name is Mrs. Quinn and I'm the lead teacher at Griswold School. I have the pleasure of introducing our remote students who have been recognized for good citizenship. From Mrs. Zapone's room, Mrs. Zapone would like to recognize Dominic Adet. Dominic has been a kind, caring student and friend to his classmates. His attitude and work ethic reflect the classroom charter that students created, focusing on how they should treat and support one another in the remote setting. In small groups, breakout rooms, or while in book clubs, Dominic shares his ideas and listens to others explain their thinking, responding or adding on when appropriate. Dominic is also good at advocating for himself, explaining when he needs clarification or support of an assignment. We are so proud of his efforts and growth this year. Great job, Dominic. And from Mrs. Marshall's remote classroom, we are recognizing Dominic Plua and Tyler Stein. Dominic starts off every Zoom meeting by unmuting and saying hello to his classmates. Dominic raises his hand when he has something to say, is an active participant in all of his groups, and consistently gets his daily classwork done in a timely manner. It has been a pleasure to have Dominic in class this year, reports his teacher. Tyler consistently worked hard this year. He is always ready to learn and comes prepared to each Zoom meeting. He gets all his classwork done and does not hesitate to ask for help when he gets stuck on something. He is an active participant in all of his groups and often encourages his classmates if they get stuck on something. Great job to both of you. In Mrs. Gottsman's grade three remote classroom, we're recognizing Emma Giorgini. 
Emma is a passionate student and is eager to participate and share her thoughts and ideas with the class. Emma meets new learning each day with an enthusiastic attitude. She is kind and empathetic to others and often gives her classmates encouragement and cheers for them during Zoom and gives them positive feedback. Great to hear, Emma. From Mrs. Matowski's grade four remote classroom, we're recognizing Madison Bacon. Madison is a wonderful student who is extremely responsible. She always signs in on time for her sessions and always completes her work. It's done accurately and thoughtfully. We can always tell that she puts a lot of thought and effort into her work, says her teacher. She is kind and helpful to other students and has a wonderful personality. She made it through a year of remote learning with flying colors. She was an absolute pleasure to work with, says her teacher. Great job. Each year, Griswold School, Hubbard School, and Willard School honor grade five students who have exceeded academic expectations as measured by performance on common assessments, as well as math and reading data. This year, Griswold School is proud to present 13 students who met this criteria. In the area of literacy, Natalie Avino, Rose Avino, Henry Cookson, and Kayla Courtville. In the content area of math, Caden Zampino, Maxwell Davidson, Gavin Malik, and Benjamin Wazorik. And in both literacy and math, Grace Miller, Brandon Sadowski, Zachary Sadowski, Callie Jenning, and Toby Yunker. Congratulations, kids. Each year, the staff at Griswold School nominate a colleague who exemplifies the characteristics of a highly effective teacher. Through their dedication to their students, focus on quality instruction, tireless approach to planning that is rigorous and challenges for all students, and professionalism. This teacher represents Griswold as our Teacher of the Year. This year, our staff has selected Ms. Donovan as our Griswold School Teacher of the Year. Ms. Donovan has been a teacher for 20 years, the last seven at Griswold School. She is currently our literacy specialist where she works with students and staff. She is the definition of a lifelong learner and encourages others to do so as well. Ms. Donovan builds strong relationships, gets to know her students as learners and people, and applies the just right strategies to support kids to make gains. She defines her students by their strengths and inspires colleagues to do the same. Ms. Donovan works to make things better every day and we are fortunate to have her as a teacher and colleague. Congratulations, Ms. Donovan. We've come to the end of our virtual awards ceremony. I'd like to close with a special message to our grade five class. Congratulations, you've achieved so much in a year that demanded grit, flexible thinking, perseverance, creativity, and problem solving skills. I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished and await amazing things to come from each one of you. My one piece of advice is to approach your middle school years with the same passion and fire you learned and grew at Griswold School. It is always difficult to say goodbye to a group of students and this year is no different. I will forever hold you in a special place in my heart as the cohort who taught me that no challenge is too big to overcome when we face it together and head on. Be proud of your accomplishments, be kind to your peers, Always do your best and try to make things better. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a great rest of your day.